Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with a micropipette. The micropipette consists of the body, the shaft, the tip ejector arm, the plunger, the volume adjustment knob, the volume indicator, and the tip ejector. This is a P200. The 200 refers to the maximum volume of solution that the micropipette can transfer. There is also a minimum volume associated with the pipettes. For the P200, it's 20 microliters. Depending on the model of pipette in the lab, you may or may not have a locking mechanism like this one. If you have a locking mechanism, you must make sure it is in the unlocked position before adjusting the volume. The volume indicator tells you how much volume the pipette is currently set to pick up. Right now, it is at 0, 8, 7, meaning it is set to pick up 87 microliters. I will now demonstrate how to transfer 100 microliters of solution from one tube to another. When setting volume, it is recommended for accuracy to go past the volume required and then go back. So if the volume is not at 100, turn the volume adjustment knob until the volume reads 103 and then go back to 100. Never adjust the pipette above the maximum or below the minimum as this could damage the pipette. Once the pipette is set to 100, lock the pipette if it has a locking mechanism so that the volume is not accidentally changed. The next step is to understand how the plunger works. There are three positions. First, there is the resting position. The next position is the first stop. And the last position is the second stop. Here is a box containing tips. These tips are specific to the micropipette size that you are using. Lift the lid of the tip box, put the pipette in a tip, and push firmly to ensure a proper seal, but not so hard as to damage the pipette. Open the tube, push the pipette plunger down to the first stop, put the tip into the solution, and slowly release the plunger to pick up the liquid, keeping the tip in the solution until the liquid has fully entered the tip. You should not see any bubbles in the liquid in your tip. Open the next tube, put your tip against the tube wall, then push the plunger down to the first stop, pause for a moment, and then go all the way to the second stop to expel any remaining liquid. Eject the tip into the waste container by depressing the tip ejector.